Hi guys, my name is Anna Maria and you're very welcome to my channel. And in this video I wanted to talk about 2020. I wanted to discuss with you how 2020 was for me, to share my own experiences, my own conclusions, because obviously it has been one of the worst years in our lives, I'd say so, but it still had some good and positive things, so I wanted to share my own conclusions with you, and um, I'd be curious to know what you think about 2020 and how this year went for you, and hopefully you have been safe and healthy this year, and this is the most, most important thing. I will start with difficult parts, and then I will move to all the achievements and all the good parts of 2020. First of all, the most difficult part for me was the isolation. We all have been isolated and it was difficult and some of you are still isolating at the moment and obviously this led to the fact that I was feeling very low on energy and I was very very low on being active. I wasn't really active at all. I was trying to do workouts of, at home but still it's not the same. This is why I like going to the gym. I like going to my pole classes because I can feel all, all that energy from people and this is why I'm paying and I'm physically spending my time to get to the gym, to get all that energy, to get that atmosphere for workouts. So I was staying at home, I was honestly feeling very low on energy and uh, usually I used to push myself a lot. I used to be very tired but I still would go to college and study, you know, but this time I started to feel so low on energy and my discipline wasn't that strong and um, it had its own positive things because actually calm down, I slow down, I relax. Physically, I obviously feel much more relaxed. I can't say that mentally I feel much more relaxed because we got such a bump of information, but physically, I actually feel much more relaxed. Also, another negative thing is that there is a lot of uncertainty and that is pretty difficult because now we understood that there is no certainty, there is no stability and we have to make all the possible things to make sure that everything is going to be okay with us, to make sure that we have more sources of income, for example, to make sure that we can look after ourselves, after our family and stuff like that. So this year really, really pushed me to think about the finance part, to think about the health part, and that wasn't that easy, honestly, and it took me a lot of effort to start thinking what I can do better, how I can make sure that me and my family, that we will be okay in case something happens, and that's actually pretty good to know how we can help ourselves and how we can look after ourselves as well. About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe, can't get it right. And now let me talk about some achievements. This would be the positive and nice part of this video. So first of all, this would be my YouTube channel and obviously I started my YouTube channel a while ago, but this year I managed to reach almost 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and this is like a lot of people. Honestly, it sounds unreal to me. I can't believe it. There are 5,000 people who subscribe to my channel and that's so, so, so much for me. I'm not sure by the time you're watching this video, is it less or more, but I'd say about 5,000 people. That's amazing. Seriously, I'm surprised and I'm really thankful that you are with me and that's so, so, so nice and you are very welcome to my channel and I hope to see more interesting and intelligent, ambitious people subscribing to my channel. I also received an email from YouTube about my analytics in 2020 and I was really impressed and let me share that analytics with you. So I have a very nice and growing community who left almost 2,700 comments to my videos and you shared my videos almost 2,300 times. Wow, that's so, so amazing. I also had more than 3,700 new subscribers to my channel and my community spent 1.1 million minutes watching my videos. 1.1 million minutes watching my videos. Wow, that's crazy. Seriously. And that's me having a very, very small channel. 
Also, you left almost 9,500 likes under my videos in 2020. I also managed to reply to 2,800 comments. And yeah, that's that's amazing. I'm so, so, so surprised, guys. So yeah, thanks a lot for being with me this year. Thanks a lot for everything. I also managed to start monetizing my channel because I made loads of new videos and that was so amazing and so interesting. But thanks a lot. It's all due to your support. Again, when I say monetizing my channel, it doesn't mean that I make a lot of money from my channel. It's just a very, very, very small source of income for me. But it's something that keeps me motivated, keeps me working, keeps me filming for you. And this is something that I really, really do enjoy. As you all know, I also graduated from the university in 2020 with a first class honors degree. So that means that I am a pretty smart person and I do have a diploma to confirm this and this sounds so amazing for me. I also took some courses and improved my skills in PowerPoint, in Excel, and that was really amazing because I got those courses from work and I had some interesting webinars where I learned a lot of a lot of new and interesting things. I also worked on my English accent. I know it's still not perfect. I know it's never gonna be perfect, but I tried to improve it a little bit because I was watching my old videos and the way I was speaking English was like honestly terrible. Like it was terrible and thank God I have improved my English a little bit. And I took some English classes as well, and that was pretty helpful for me. Also, I visited my home country, Moldova, so I saw a few doctors and I checked my blood, I made sure that I have enough, uh, enough vitamins, enough micro elements in my blood, that everything is okay, that everything is amazing. And, you know, this made me feel so much better that I went to the doctors and I checked my health and, and I know that everything is okay and everything is good. And now I have a lot of peace of mind as well. I also spend a lot of time with my friends, with my family, I made some new friends that I really really adore they are so interesting and amazing and um, yeah you know actually this year I had much more time to slow down to stop and call my friends call my relatives talk to them discuss different things with them even leave different events with them and that was so much better and I'm feeling so good because I managed to spend more time with family and friends also, I did pole fitness and I tried hoop fitness. You all know that I like pole fitness just because it's more interesting than just going to the gym. I'm not talking about the gym because gym has been my lifestyle for ages. So um, I usually eat, sleep, go to work and go to the gym. <laughs> gym is a huge, huge part of my life. I did a lot of reading as well and I read a few very interesting books that developed me a lot, they, that gave me a lot of knowledge and a lot of skills as well. So I really enjoyed doing it and obviously I met a lot of new people and I met a lot of new people through YouTube and through my Instagram. Thanks a lot guys for messaging me on Instagram, for telling me that you're watching me, for telling me about your stories. It's really interesting to get to know you. And also I started to think a lot about my personal finance because I understood that personal finance is very very important because this can bring me to a lot of success. I'll be careful my, with my personal finance and this is why guys I really do recommend you to make sure that you do also think about your personal finance even though you don't have a huge income but it's still very important to know how to organize our personal finance what money would go for saving what money would go for spending and what money would go, would go for investment it's very important because this is how we discipline ourselves from the money point of view and also another thing that happened, I became much more open to the world and obviously I'm still a slight introvert, I'm not too extroverted, but you know, I felt like I want to open to the world even though I actually got some hate comments uh, under my videos and stuff like that, but I still feel like I want to be much more open to the world, I want to communicate with people, I want to be there with people, to enjoy my time with people. And this made me feel so much more self-confident and so much better. This was 2020 for me. It was interesting, it was difficult, it was very weird, very strange. It was very different from what I was used to, like what we all were used to. But I really want to see how 2020 was for you. So if you want to tell us in the comments, I'd be really happy to read 
and see how 2020 went for you and make sure you do check all the links in the description to my videos the links to my instagram to my linkedin to my patreon account as well and make sure you do check my patreon where i want to create a community of like-minded smart ambitious people where we can communicate share our experiences and just be with interesting and ambitious people thanks a lot guys for watching this video i wish you all a beautiful time a beautiful december a merry christmas a happy new year and a lovely 2021 and i will see you in my next video